Okay. So we're going to start off with the EURUSD. I do have a trade in on EURUSD at the moment. Um, not looking very positive. Probably going to get stopped out of this at the moment. And I'll explain now what the entry is uh, and where I take profit. You can see my take profit is over here, just above this previous these previous swing highs, which is going to turn into um, support. It was resistance we've broken through. We haven't tested it, so that's pretty much an area that I think we are coming back to. So if we just drill down to the hour, it'll tidy up the chart a bit. Um, we can actually get rid of these. Well, not that one. Let's keep that one out. Right. So what basically transpired here is we've got the shoulder, head, and shoulder. Then this was the neckline, 112.286. You can see we flirted it with it, flirted with it, flirted it. Then we got this solid close below it. Um, what I was waiting for was a retest of this level. That happened the very next bar was a, a retest and took the short on the close. Um, had one, one hour of sideways action and then we promptly moved to the upside um, to trigger all the stops. Uh, so basically what's transpired is we have come back to test this level and you can see where my stop is. My stop is pretty much above the retest level just in case this kind of thing happens, which has happened now and uh, we are now hopefully moving in the right direction. This is still trending down as well. So the next step for me would be uh, pretty much confirmation of that area there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see we have a very small position, 0.2 of a lot at the moment on this one. But uh, what we should see is a break retest, which will give me an opportunity to add, and then uh, that stop area is confirmed. If it does get above there, then we've got an issue. Anyway, so EURUSD, I am looking at a short. I am looking to take profits just above 1.11472. One, uh, 1.11472. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, I think, look at this as a scalp. Okay, it's pretty much up and down, up and down at the moment. We are forming, there's a higher low, uh, sorry, a, a lower low. There's a previous low, lower low. And we are forming uh, lower highs as well. So take profit there. If it does bounce back to come and test this area again, then that's another area for me to get in short. Okay. So that's uh, Euro USD at the moment. Pound USD. Uh, not really a similar setup. Nothing that excites me yet. We haven't broken through a level. Uh, and you can see pretty much similar setup. So there is a head and shoulders forming as well. I think um, pound pairs, be careful. We've got some big data coming out with the. Uh, with the British Central Bank coming out with their minutes, uh, Bank of England coming out with their minutes, and then they're also having uh, quite a few uh, talks today. So there's quite a few people that are, are talking about the economy today. So there could be some catalyst coming there, so just be careful. And that's very typical of what you see with this kind of stuff, this ranging price action. But in saying that, Let's just get back to the four hour, I think is the best one. In saying that, if there's any sort of uh, negative data coming out, it's going to drive this market down. Um, the dollar is looking to, to weaken at the moment. If you look at uh, a couple of scenarios that are on the table at the moment. So if uh, the pound strengthens with the dollar weakness, we may get a pretty strong move to the downside. Okay, so it's just one to keep uh, keep your eye on. Um, Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, uh, nothing really much transpiring here, except for the fact that I thought we had a breakout there, but we didn't, so let's just adjust that, and let's adjust that as well, and now you'll see we are in a range, or in a channel. So the channel um, at this stage does look like we are forming higher lows, there we go. But again, I think um, there's a lot of data coming out soft, so I think most markets are going to be rangy for now. So this is just one to watch. I'm still pretty keen to see any move down into this area here of 71.89.7. That would interest me for some form of a long. But uh, 
so would it break out above and we'll just take us down to the hour oh there we go so at this stage we're looking for a breakout above this area here but then I want the trend line to break at the same time. So in other words, I'd want a trend line break and then I come back and retest this area here of 74184. That would get me some longs going. Uh, pound Aussie dollar, nothing much going on there. Just pure sideways motion and that's going to continue today until all the data comes out. So stay away from that. US dollar, Canadian dollar, pretty much all over the place again. And you can see this area here is just total confusion. So I think um, the wise thing here is just wait, watch, and see what's transpiring. Uh, pound Japanese yen, we are getting some buyers stepping in here for some reason. But you can see that by those tails. If we have a look at this on the hour, um, you'll see sort of a triple bottom, a lot of uh, rangy downward stuff here. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for some kind of confirmation of a trend change or a breakout and a retest for this pair. I'm not really going to worry about this right now. But again, pound pair, you need to wait to see what happens with that data. Last one is um, the Euro Swiss franc. And Euro Swiss franc, you can see I've got a, a level drawn in here which we have broken and looks like we retested on the hour. Have a look at this on the hour or not. The eighth hour. The only thing that bugs me is that this is a pretty strong level of support here, 106.551. So if we come back down here. Um, yeah, I think stay away from this. I'm going to stay away from this as well until we get some kind of a, a reversal. And it did start looking like it was reversing to the upside, but now it's looking like it's uh, consolidating for another leg down. And I don't know if we do have. I suppose we do have quite a bit of opportunities to the downside here. Um, there's one worth watching, I think. Um, this level needs to give, though. So 106.551, we need to break through that level, come back and test it a couple of times. And I want that on the 8th hour before looking for a move to the next level, which would be down here. Uh, not quite there, there, which would be down to 106.145. So I think it's worth watching. I just don't like this uh, this ranging stuff here. You can see what happens when you range off a level. Nine times out of ten, you bounce like that. Okay, we are off a level at the moment, so it could come back down. We are forming higher lows here as well. So I wouldn't jump in short just yet. I want to see a firm breakout and retest on the eight hour before looking at that. But uh, what may transpire is a decent break to the upside and a pullback. And um, I would use this white block. Let's just get rid of the white block, I think. This is actually looking quite interesting because um, we need a breakthrough and retest of 106.839, and that would trigger some longs for me. Okay. So anyway, guys, those are the um, seven pairs that I'm watching at the moment, and uh, apart from the indexes. So, yeah, those are the ones that we're paying attention to, but I think this Euro USD is the one that, um, the longer it carries on like this, the less optimistic I'm getting. Well, five minutes, probably the wrong way to look at this. So, um, yeah, you can see that pretty much price action is not indicating that uh, we have made the right decision. But anyway, let's wait it out and see what transpires. It's probably going to trigger the stop. Um, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.